Hello. Welcome to the online lesson on the Geography of Turkey 1, Physical Geography of Turkey course. In today's session, we will delve into the hydrographic features of groundwater in Turkey. Groundwater has several key features that distinguish it as an essential component of the Earth's hydrological cycle. Here are some main features of groundwater. 1. Storage in aquifers. Groundwater is stored in natural underground reservoirs called aquifers. Aquifers are composed of permeable rocks or sediments that allow water to move through and be stored within the pore spaces. 2. Recharge. Groundwater is replenished through a process called recharge. This occurs when precipitation, surface water, or infiltrated water from various sources percolates through the soil and reaches the saturated zone of an aquifer. 3. Movement. Groundwater moves through the subsurface, following the natural gradient from areas of higher elevation to lower elevation. The rate of groundwater movement can vary depending on the permeability of the geological formations it flows through. 4. Extraction. Groundwater can be extracted for various purposes, including drinking water supply, irrigation, and industrial use. Wells are drilled into aquifers to access the groundwater stored below the ground surface. 5. Sustainability. Sustainable use of groundwater involves balancing the rate of extraction with the rate of recharge. Overpumping or excessive use of groundwater can lead to aquifer depletion, causing environmental and socioeconomic problems. 6. Quality. Groundwater quality is generally high because the natural filtration that occurs as water percolates through the soil and rocks helps remove impurities. However, contamination can occur due to human activities, affecting the quality of the groundwater. 7. Dependence on hydrogeological conditions. The characteristics of groundwater, such as flow rates and availability, are highly dependent on the hydrogeological conditions of the subsurface, including the types of rocks and sediments present. 8. Influence on surface water. Groundwater and surface water are interconnected. Groundwater discharges into rivers, lakes, and oceans, maintaining base flow and influencing the health of surface water ecosystems. 9. Lag time. Groundwater response to changes in precipitation or land use may exhibit a lag time. It may take weeks, months, or even years for changes on the land surface to be reflected in groundwater levels. Understanding these features is crucial for sustainable groundwater management and ensuring the continued availability of this vital water resource. Groundwater is formed as surface waters infiltrate underground, gathering in the voids between layers or on impermeable layers. An aquifer is a permeable geological formation, typically underground, that contains and transmits groundwater. It consists of materials such as gravel, sand, sandstone, or limestone that can hold and transmit water through their pore spaces. Aquifers are vital sources of freshwater, and they play a crucial role in supplying water for wells and springs. The amount of groundwater is influenced by various factors, including 1. Recharge rate, the rate at which water enters the aquifer, typically from precipitation or surface water. High recharge rates increase groundwater levels. 2. Topography, the slope and elevation of the land affect the movement and accumulation of groundwater. Water tends to flow downhill and accumulate in lower areas. 3. Geology, the type of geological materials in the aquifer, such as sand, gravel, or rock, influences the storage and transmission of groundwater. 4. Vegetation, plants can influence groundwater levels through a process called evapotranspiration, where water is absorbed by plant roots and released into the atmosphere. 5. Climate, precipitation patterns, temperature, and humidity all play a role in groundwater levels. Arid regions may have lower groundwater levels due to reduced precipitation. 6. Human activities, pumping water from wells, land use changes, and the construction of impervious surfaces can impact groundwater levels. Over-extraction can lead to groundwater depletion. 7. Permeability, the ability of the aquifer material to transmit water. Highly permeable materials allow for faster groundwater movement and greater storage. 8. Aquifer size and shape. The physical dimensions of the aquifer, such as its size and shape, influence the amount of water it can store and transmit. Understanding these factors is essential for sustainable groundwater management and ensuring a stable and sufficient supply of fresh water. Permeability of rock layers refers to the ability of rocks to transmit fluids, such as water or oil. It is a crucial property in hydrogeology and petroleum engineering, influencing the movement of fluids through subsurface formations. Permeability is influenced by various factors, including the type of rock, its porosity, and the presence of fractures or faults. 
In geological terms, permeability is a measure of the ease with which fluids can flow through a rock. Porous rocks with interconnected pore spaces, such as sandstone or limestone, often have higher permeability compared to denser rocks like shale or clay. Permeability is typically measured in units of Darcy's. A higher permeability allows fluids to flow more easily through the rock, while a lower permeability restricts fluid movement. Understanding the permeability of rock layers is crucial in various fields, including groundwater management, oil and gas exploration, and environmental studies. Permeable and impermeable rocks refer to the ability of rocks to allow or restrict the movement of fluids, such as water. These properties are essential in understanding the flow of groundwater and the containment of fluids within geological formations. 1. Permeable rocks. Definition. Permeable rocks have interconnected pore spaces that allow the easy movement of fluids through them. Examples. Sandstone and limestone are classic examples of permeable rocks. Their porous nature and well-connected pore spaces make them conducive to fluid flow. Characteristics. Permeable rocks typically have high porosity which is the volume percentage of open spaces, pores, in the rock. The interconnected pores enable water or other fluids to move through the rock. 2. Impermeable rocks. Definition. Impermeable rocks have low porosity and do not allow the free movement of fluids. They act as barriers, preventing the flow of water or other substances. Examples. Shale and clay are common examples of impermeable rocks. Their compacted nature and lack of well-connected pores make it difficult for fluids to pass through. Characteristics, impermeable rocks have low porosity, and the pores present may not be well connected. This results in a low capacity for fluid transmission. Understanding the permeability and impermeability of rocks is crucial in various geological and environmental applications. Permeable rocks often serve as aquifers, allowing the storage and movement of groundwater, while impermeable rocks can form barriers or seals, trapping fluids underground. These properties play a significant role in groundwater management, petroleum engineering, and environmental protection. The potential of groundwater and springs is influenced by various factors, both natural and anthropogenic. Here are some key factors that affect the potential of groundwater and springs. 1. Geological conditions. The type of geological formations, such as aquifers and permeable rocks, significantly influences groundwater potential. The presence of porous and fractured rocks allows for the storage and movement of water. 2. Topography. The topography of an area affects the potential of springs. Groundwater tends to flow from higher elevations to lower elevations, and springs often emerge where groundwater intersects the land surface. 3. Climate Climate plays a crucial role in groundwater potential. Areas with higher precipitation rates contribute more water to underground aquifers. Additionally, the temperature affects the rate of evaporation and, consequently, groundwater recharge. 4. Vegetation cover Vegetation helps regulate the water balance by influencing factors like evapotranspiration and infiltration. Forested areas, for example, may enhance groundwater recharge and reduce surface runoff. 5. Soil composition. The composition and characteristics of the soil impact how water infiltrates into the ground. Sandy soils generally allow for better water infiltration than clay soils. 6. Land use and urbanization. Human activities, such as urbanization and land use changes, can alter natural groundwater recharge patterns. Paved surfaces reduce infiltration, leading to increased runoff and reduced groundwater recharge. 7. Human extraction. The extraction of groundwater for agriculture, industrial, and domestic purposes affects groundwater levels. Over-extraction can lead to groundwater depletion and reduce spring discharge. 8. Faults and fractures. Faults and fractures in the Earth's crust can create pathways for groundwater movement. Springs may emerge along fault lines or fractured zones. 9. Hydraulic conductivity. The ability of the subsurface materials to transmit water, known as hydraulic conductivity, influences groundwater flow. Higher hydraulic conductivity promotes better groundwater potential. 10. Groundwater recharge areas. Identifying and protecting groundwater recharge areas is crucial for maintaining the potential of springs. These are areas where water infiltrates into the ground to replenish aquifers. Understanding these factors is essential for sustainable groundwater management and the preservation of springs as valuable water resources.
human activities and climate change can significantly impact these factors, emphasizing the importance of responsible water usage and conservation practices. A water spring is a natural discharge point where groundwater emerges at the Earth's surface. Springs are a result of the movement of underground water through permeable rocks, fractures, or other geological formations until it reaches the land surface. When the groundwater pressure is sufficient, it forces water to flow out, creating a visible spring. Key features of springs include 1. Origin of water Springs are fed by groundwater that has percolated into the ground, often from precipitation, and then moved through the subsurface. 2. Formation Groundwater may follow natural pathways, such as fractures or permeable rock layers, until it reaches a point where it can exit at the surface. 3. Flow characteristics Springs can vary widely in terms of flow rate. Some springs may have a steady flow, while others may be intermittent, flowing only during certain seasons or under specific conditions. 4. Temperature The temperature of spring water can vary, and it is influenced by factors such as the depth of the groundwater source and the geothermal conditions of the area. 5. Location Springs can be found in various landscapes, including hills, mountains, valleys, and plains. The location is often related to the geological features of the region. 6. Ecological importance Springs play a vital role in supporting ecosystems. They provide a constant source of fresh water, creating habitats for plants and animals. Some species are uniquely adapted to spring environments. 7. Human use Throughout history, human communities have often settled near springs due to the reliable source of fresh water they provide. Springs have been important for drinking water, irrigation, and sustaining communities. 8. Types of springs There are different types of springs based on their characteristics, such as artesian springs, which occur when groundwater is under pressure and rises to the surface without pumping. 9. Cultural significance Springs have cultural and spiritual significance in many societies. They are sometimes considered sacred or are associated with rituals and traditions. 10. Preservation challenges Human activities, including groundwater extraction and land use changes, can impact the flow and sustainability of springs. It is crucial to manage and protect these natural water sources. Springs contribute to the hydrological cycle by redistributing water from the subsurface to the surface, and they play a critical role in maintaining the overall health of ecosystems and supporting human activities. Springs can be classified into several major types based on their characteristics and how the water emerges. Here are some of the major types of springs. 1. Artesian springs. Artesian springs occur when groundwater, under natural pressure, rises to the surface without the need for pumping. This happens in artesian aquifers where water is confined between impermeable layers. 2. Gravity springs. Gravity springs, also known as seepage springs or simple springs, result from water flowing out of the ground due to gravity. They often occur in areas where an impermeable layer meets a permeable layer. 3. Cold springs. Cold springs are characterized by the emergence of cool or cold water. The temperature is influenced by factors such as the depth of the groundwater source and the geological conditions. 4. Hot springs. Hot springs feature water with elevated temperatures compared to the surrounding air. The heat is often derived from geothermal energy, and hot springs are common in volcanic or geothermally active regions. 5. Intermittent springs. Intermittent springs have a variable flow, and they may stop flowing during certain periods, such as dry seasons. The flow is influenced by factors like rainfall and changes in groundwater levels. 6. Perennial springs. Perennial springs have a continuous flow throughout the year. They provide a reliable source of water and are essential for supporting ecosystems and human activities. 7. Fossil springs. Fossil springs, also known as paleo springs, were once active but have become inactive over geological time. They may still have a visible spring mound or channel. 8. Limestone springs. Limestone springs are associated with limestone or karst landscapes. The water emerges through openings or conduits in the limestone, leading to unique geological formations. 9. Fault springs. Fault springs occur along fault lines, where fractures in the Earth's crust allow groundwater to reach the surface. These springs are often associated with tectonic activity. 10. Cavern springs. 
Cavern springs emerge from underground caverns or caves. The water may flow directly from the cavern system to the surface, creating distinctive spring features. 11. Submarine springs. Submarine springs release freshwater into the sea or ocean. They can be found along coastlines and contribute to the mixing of freshwater and saltwater. 12. Geyser springs. Geyser springs are characterized by periodic eruptions of water and steam. These eruptions are driven by underground geothermal activity and are often associated with volcanic regions. These classifications highlight the diversity of springs, each with its unique characteristics based on geological, hydrological, and environmental factors. Valley springs. A valley slope spring, also known as a hillside spring or hillside seep, is a type of spring that emerges along the slopes of valleys or hillsides. Here are more details about valley slope springs. 1. Formation. Valley slope springs form when groundwater, which has percolated through permeable rock or soil layers, reaches the surface along the slope of a valley. The emergence of the spring is influenced by the intersection of impermeable and permeable layers. 2. Geological conditions. These springs often occur in areas with layered geological formations where an impermeable layer, such as clay or rock, restricts the downward movement of water, causing it to emerge along the slope. 3. Topographical influence. The topography of the land plays a crucial role. The slope allows water to flow downhill, and when it encounters the impermeable layer, it is forced to the surface as a spring. 4. Seasonal variability. The flow of valley slope springs can be influenced by seasonal changes in precipitation. During periods of higher rainfall, the groundwater table may rise, leading to increased spring flow. 5. Flow characteristics. Valley slope springs may exhibit variable flow rates, depending on factors such as groundwater recharge, local hydrology, and the presence of fractures or conduits in the subsurface. 6. Importance of valley slope springs. These springs are often important water sources in hilly or mountainous regions. They can contribute to the formation of small streams or rivulets as the spring water collects and flows downhill. 7. Ecological significance. Valley slope springs provide valuable water resources for local ecosystems. The water emerging from these springs can support plant and animal life, contributing to biodiversity in the surrounding areas. 8. Human use. Historically, valley slope springs have been used as water sources for human communities. People may have built settlements near these springs to access fresh water for drinking, agriculture, and other domestic purposes. 9. Hydrogeological considerations. Hydrogeologists study the hydrogeological conditions of valley slope springs to understand the movement of groundwater in the subsurface and to assess the sustainability of these springs as water sources. 10. Potential vulnerabilities. Valley slope springs can be vulnerable to changes in land use, deforestation, or alterations in the natural drainage patterns. Human activities in the surrounding areas may impact the recharge and flow of groundwater to these springs. Understanding the characteristics and dynamics of valley slope springs is essential for effective water resource management and conservation, especially in regions where these springs play a vital role in supporting both natural and human environments. Karstic springs are a type of spring that originates from karst topography, a distinctive landscape formed by the dissolution of soluble rocks such as limestone, dolomite, and gypsum. Here are key features and characteristics of karstic springs. 1. Formation Karstic springs are formed in regions with karst topography, where soluble rocks are dissolved by the action of water, creating underground conduits, cavities, and channels. 2. Karst topography. Karst landscapes are characterized by unique surface and subsurface features, including sinkholes, caves, and underground drainage systems. The dissolution of soluble rocks creates a network of conduits through which water can flow. 3. Recharge areas. Karstic springs often emerge in recharge areas where water from precipitation enters the karst system, percolates through the soluble rocks, and travels through underground conduits. 4. Subsurface flow. Water in karstic springs may have traveled considerable distances underground before emerging at the spring. The subsurface flow allows water to interact with the soluble rock, acquiring minerals and characteristics from the geological formations. 5. Intermittent flow. The flow of water from karstic springs can be variable and may exhibit intermittent behavior. Seasonal variations in precipitation and recharge influence the discharge of these springs. 
6. Water chemistry. Karstic springs often have distinctive water chemistry. The water may be rich in dissolved minerals, especially calcium carbonate, which is derived from the dissolution of limestone or other carbonate rocks. 7. Emergence points. Karstic springs can emerge at various points in the landscape, including the base of cliffs, cave entrances, or openings in the ground. The emergence points are influenced by the structure of the underlying karst system. 8. Formation of caves. The dissolution of soluble rocks in karst landscapes can lead to the formation of caves and caverns. Karstic springs may be associated with cave systems, and water can flow from these underground cavities to the surface. 9. Ecological importance. Karstic springs provide important habitats for unique flora and fauna adapted to the specific conditions of karst environments. The water chemistry and availability of nutrients contribute to the ecological diversity of these springs. 10. Human use. Throughout history, humans have utilized karstic springs as water sources for drinking, agriculture, and industrial purposes. Some famous karstic springs are associated with cultural and historical significance. 11. Vulnerability to pollution. Karstic springs can be vulnerable to pollution because the rapid flow of water through conduits may facilitate the transport of contaminants from the surface to the aquifer. Protection measures are crucial to preserve the quality of water from karstic springs. Understanding the characteristics of karstic springs is essential for managing water resources in karst landscapes and ensuring their sustainable use while preserving the unique geological and ecological features of these environments. The temperature of its waters remains nearly constant, and they are abundant in lime. Seasonal variations are noticeable in their flow rates. Fault springs, also known as fault-related springs, are a type of spring that originates due to the movement or displacement along a fault line in the Earth's crust. Faults are fractures or zones of weakness in the Earth's crust where blocks of rock on either side have moved relative to each other. When water-bearing rocks are intersected by such faults, springs can emerge. Here are more details about fault springs. 1. Formation. Fault springs occur when water flows along a fault line and emerges at the surface due to the movement or displacement of rocks. The water follows the path created by the fault, and when it reaches the surface, it forms a spring. 2. Water source. The water that feeds fault springs often comes from underground aquifers or permeable rock layers that intersect the fault zone. The fault provides a conduit for the water to reach the surface. 3. Temperature and composition. The temperature of water from fault springs can vary, and the composition may depend on the rocks the water interacts with along its underground journey. In some cases, fault springs can have unique mineral content due to the geological characteristics of the fault zone. 4. Geological activity. Fault springs are associated with geological activity and the movement of tectonic plates. They are often found in regions with active fault lines, where earthquakes and other tectonic processes contribute to the creation of faults. 5. Flow characteristics. The flow of water from fault springs can be intermittent or continuous, depending on factors such as the rate of groundwater recharge, the size of the aquifer, and the geological conditions along the fault. 6. Environmental significance. Fault springs can play a crucial role in sustaining local ecosystems by providing water sources for plants and animals. They may also contribute to the formation of unique geological features in the surrounding landscape. 7. Human utilization. In some cases, Fault springs are tapped as water sources for human use. However, their use may be limited by factors such as water quality, quantity, and the potential for contamination from surrounding geological materials. Understanding fault springs is important for both geological studies and water resource management, as they are influenced by the dynamic processes occurring beneath the Earth's surface. Given that its waters originate from the Earth's depths, the spring is characterized by both high temperatures and a rich composition of diverse salts and minerals. The consistency in the source's depth ensures minimal fluctuations in the flow throughout the year. Artesian springs, also known as artesian wells or aquifers, are geological formations where groundwater naturally rises to the surface under pressure without the need for pumping. This phenomenon occurs when an aquifer, a permeable rock layer that holds water, is sandwiched between two impermeable layers. The pressure results from the natural recharge of the aquifer at higher elevations. Key features of artesian springs include 1. Pressure release. The water in an artesian aquifer is under pressure due to the weight of overlying rocks. When a well is drilled into the aquifer, the pressure forces the water to rise without any external pumping. 2. Continuous flow. 
Artesian springs often provide a continuous flow of water. The constant pressure within the aquifer ensures a reliable and sustainable source. 3. Natural discharge. Artesian springs may discharge water at the land surface or into rivers, creating distinctive features like artesian wells or springs. 4. Temperature and composition. The temperature and composition of water from artesian springs can vary but are often influenced by the geological layers the water passes through. It might be cooler or warmer than the average groundwater, and mineral content can be higher. 5. Artesian Basin Large-scale occurrences of artesian springs are associated with artesian basins, where extensive aquifers are trapped between impermeable layers over a wide geographic area. 6. Human Use Artesian springs have been historically valuable for human settlements, providing a natural source of water for drinking, agriculture, and other uses. These springs are important geological features, and their sustainable use is crucial for maintaining water resources in various regions. Turkey is endowed with diverse groundwater resources and springs, playing a significant role in the country's water supply and ecological balance. Here is an overview of groundwater and springs in Turkey. 1. Abundance of aquifers. Turkey has numerous aquifers, which are geological formations capable of storing and transmitting groundwater. These aquifers vary in size, depth, and water quality, contributing to the country's overall groundwater potential. 2. Geological diversity. The geological diversity of Turkey, with different rock types and formations, influences the characteristics of groundwater. Various aquifers, such as limestone, sandstone, and volcanic rocks, contribute to the nation's groundwater resources. 3. Artesian wells and springs. Artesian wells, where groundwater naturally rises under pressure, are present in some regions. Additionally, numerous springs dot the landscape, providing a constant flow of water from aquifers to the surface. These springs are crucial for sustaining ecosystems, agriculture, and human settlements. 4. Balneological Springs Turkey is renowned for its balneological springs, where mineral-rich thermal waters are known for their therapeutic properties. Places like Pamukkale are famous for their travertine terraces formed by calcium-rich springs. 5. Human Dependence Many communities in Turkey depend on groundwater for domestic water supply, irrigation, and industrial purposes. The reliable flow of springs and wells supports agriculture and sustains ecosystems, particularly in arid and semi-arid regions. 6. Challenges in Management Despite the abundance of groundwater, there are challenges related to over-extraction, pollution, and unsustainable use. Effective groundwater management and conservation measures are essential to ensure the long-term sustainability of these vital water resources. 7. Research and Monitoring Ongoing research and monitoring initiatives help assess the health and sustainability of groundwater resources in Turkey. This includes studying the hydrogeological characteristics of aquifers and monitoring water quality. 8. Legislation and Regulation Turkey has established legislation and regulations to manage and protect groundwater resources. These measures aim to balance human needs with environmental conservation to maintain the health of aquifers and springs. In summary, Groundwater and springs play a crucial role in Turkey's water supply, supporting various sectors and ecosystems. Sustainable management practices are essential to address challenges and ensure the continued availability of these valuable water resources. Hot springs in Turkey are distributed across various regions, with many of them located along fault lines and in proximity to volcanic areas. Some notable regions with a concentration of hot springs include 1. Western Anatolia this region is known for its geothermal activity, and several hot springs can be found here. 2. North Anatolia. Similar to Western Anatolia, North Anatolia also has hot springs associated with its geological features. 3. Eastern Anatolia. This region, characterized by its geological activity, is home to hot springs with therapeutic properties. These hot springs are not only popular for relaxation but also for their potential health benefits due to the mineral content and geothermal properties of the water. In Turkey, valleys, slopes, and artesian sources are prevalent. The western Taurus Mountains feature karstic springs, while areas experiencing frequent tectonic movements are characterized by fault sources. An 8% increase in energy investment is necessary in Turkey every year compared to the previous year. There are over a thousand geothermal springs in Turkey, with temperatures ranging from 20 to 110 degrees Celsius and flow rates of 2 to 500 cubic meters per second. 
Turkey has significant geothermal energy potential, thanks to its location in a seismically active region with numerous geothermal resources. The country is actively harnessing this potential for electricity generation and various direct uses. The geothermal energy potential in Turkey is primarily concentrated in the western part of the country, including regions like Aden, Denizli, Manisa, and Afyonkarahisar. Geothermal energy is utilized in Turkey for various purposes, including 1. Electricity generation. Geothermal power plants are established to generate electricity. The heat from the Earth's interior is used to produce steam, which, in turn, drives turbines connected to generators. 2. Heating applications. Geothermal energy is widely used for district heating systems, particularly in residential and industrial areas. This application is common in places like Kotahya. 3. Greenhouses. Geothermal heat is utilized in greenhouse agriculture to create a controlled environment for the cultivation of crops. 4. Spa and wellness centers. The hot springs associated with geothermal areas are often developed into spa and wellness centers, attracting tourists and offering therapeutic benefits. Turkey's commitment to increasing its share of renewable energy in the total energy mix has led to the ongoing exploration and development of geothermal resources. The country's geothermal potential plays a crucial role in achieving sustainability goals and reducing dependence on fossil fuels. The utilization of hot spring waters for central heating is a noteworthy application of geothermal energy in various regions of Turkey. Specifically, in places like Kursayir, Gonan, Simav, Xilkahamam, and Izmir Balsava, hot spring waters are harnessed to provide heating for central housing. This application is part of Turkey's broader efforts to maximize its geothermal potential. The country aims to use geothermal energy not only for heating but also for electricity generation and other direct uses. The abundance of geothermal resources in Turkey positions it as a key player in the development and expansion of geothermal applications for sustainable energy solutions. The goal to heat 5 million homes using geothermal potential reflects the commitment to harnessing this clean and renewable energy source to meet both residential and industrial heating needs. In certain regions, geothermal resources in Turkey are utilized for greenhouse heating. This application demonstrates the versatility of geothermal energy, as it contributes to creating optimal conditions for plant cultivation within greenhouses. By leveraging the heat generated from geothermal sources, farmers can maintain suitable temperatures for the growth of various crops throughout the year. This practice enhances agricultural productivity and sustainability by providing a reliable and renewable energy source for greenhouse heating. The integration of geothermal energy into agricultural processes aligns with Turkey's efforts to explore diverse applications of this natural resource for both environmental and economic benefits. Wealth from Turkey's water resources encompasses a wide range of economic opportunities and benefits derived from the country's abundant water sources. 1. Agriculture. Turkey's water resources play a crucial role in agriculture, supporting the cultivation of various crops. The fertile soil combined with efficient water management contributes significantly to agricultural output, providing income for farmers and contributing to the nation's food security. 2. Hydropower generation. The country's rivers and water infrastructure facilitate hydropower generation. Hydroelectric power plants harness the energy from flowing water, contributing to the national energy grid and reducing dependence on non-renewable energy sources. 3. Tourism, scenic lakes, rivers, and coastal areas contribute to the tourism industry. Visitors are drawn to water-related recreational activities, coastal resorts, and historical sites, bringing in revenue and creating employment opportunities. 4. Industrial use, water is a vital resource for various industries, including manufacturing and processing. Access to ample water supports industrial activities, fostering economic development and job creation. 5. Fisheries, Turkey's extensive coastline and inland waters support diverse marine life. Fishing, both commercial and recreational, provides livelihoods for coastal communities and contributes to the economy. 6. Shipping and transportation. The strategic location of Turkey with its key waterways, such as the Bosphorus and Dardanelles, facilitates maritime transportation. This not only supports domestic trade but also positions Turkey as a crucial transit hub for international shipping. 7. Mining. Water is essential for mining activities, including extraction and processing. Turkey's water resources play a role in supporting the mining sector, contributing to mineral resource development. 8. Biodiversity Conservation. Preserving water ecosystems is vital for maintaining biodiversity. Wealth from water includes the intrinsic value of diverse ecosystems, which in turn supports ecological balance and resilience. 9. 
water infrastructure development, investment in water infrastructure projects, such as dams and irrigation systems, creates job opportunities and stimulates economic growth. Improved water management enhances agricultural productivity and overall water use efficiency. 10. Water technology and innovation. The need for sustainable water management practices fosters innovation in water-related technologies. This can lead to the development of new technologies, creating opportunities for entrepreneurship and economic growth in the water sector. The wealth derived from Turkey's water resources extends beyond immediate economic gains, encompassing environmental, social, and cultural dimensions. Sustainable water management practices are crucial for maximizing these benefits while ensuring the long-term health of water ecosystems. Aquaculture in Turkey has witnessed significant growth and development, particularly since the 1980s. This sector involves the cultivation of aquatic organisms, including fish, mollusks, and crustaceans, in controlled environments such as ponds, tanks, and cages. Turkey's geographical location, with access to both the Mediterranean and Black Seas, provides favorable conditions for aquaculture activities. Key points about aquaculture in Turkey 1. Species cultivation the aquaculture sector in Turkey focuses on various species, including sea bass, sea bream, trout, and tilapia. These species are chosen based on their adaptability to local conditions and market demand. 2. Geographical distribution. Aquaculture facilities are distributed across different regions of Turkey, with a significant presence along the Aegean and Mediterranean coasts. These areas provide suitable conditions for marine aquaculture. 3. Production methods. Aquaculture in Turkey utilizes different production methods, including marine cages, land-based ponds, and recirculating aquaculture systems, RAS. These methods aim to optimize production efficiency and environmental sustainability. 4. Economic contribution. The aquaculture industry makes a substantial contribution to Turkey's economy. It generates employment opportunities, supports local economies, and contributes to export revenue through the sale of seafood products. 5. Regulations and standards. The Turkish government has implemented regulations and standards to ensure the sustainability and environmental responsibility of aquaculture practices. These regulations cover issues such as water quality, feed management, and disease control. 6. Research and development. Ongoing research and development efforts aim to enhance the efficiency and sustainability of aquaculture in Turkey. This includes initiatives to improve breeding techniques, disease resistance, and feed formulations. 7. Challenges. The aquaculture sector faces challenges such as disease outbreaks, environmental concerns, and market fluctuations. Efforts are ongoing to address these challenges through research, technology adoption, and effective management practices. Overall, aquaculture plays a crucial role in meeting the growing demand for seafood in Turkey and contributes significantly to the country's food security and economic development. Fishing is an important activity in Turkey, given its extensive coastline along the Mediterranean, Aegean, and Black Seas, as well as numerous rivers and lakes. Here are some key points about fishing in Turkey. 1. Marine fishing. Turkey has a rich marine fishing tradition, and its fishing industry is active in both coastal and deep sea waters. The Mediterranean and Aegean seas are particularly important for marine fishing activities. 2. Fish species. The waters surrounding Turkey are home to a diverse range of fish species, including anchovies, sardines, mackerel, sea bream, sea bass, and various types of flatfish. These species contribute to both local consumption and exports. 3. Fishing techniques. Various fishing techniques are employed, including trawling, purse seining, long lining, and gill netting. Different methods are used depending on the targeted species and the fishing location. 4. Aquaculture. In addition to marine fishing, aquaculture, fish farming, plays a significant role in Turkey's seafood production. Fish farms cultivate species such as sea bass, sea bream, and trout. 5. Regulations. The Turkish government has implemented regulations to manage and sustain fisheries resources. These regulations cover issues such as fishing seasons, catch limits, and gear restrictions to prevent overfishing and protect the marine ecosystem. 6. Economic contribution. The fishing industry contributes to both local economies and the national economy. It provides employment opportunities for coastal communities and supports related sectors such as processing, distribution, and export. 7. Black Sea Fishing The Black Sea, with its unique ecosystem, is also an important fishing area. However, the Black Sea faces challenges such as overfishing and environmental issues that impact fish stocks. 8. Inland Fishing 
Turkey's numerous rivers and lakes support inland fishing activities. Common freshwater species include trout, carp, pike, and catfish. Inland fishing provides recreational opportunities and contributes to local food supplies. 9. Sustainability efforts. Turkey is increasingly focusing on sustainable fishing practices to ensure the long-term viability of its fisheries. This includes awareness campaigns, scientific research, and cooperation with international organizations. 10. Export of seafood products. Turkey exports a significant amount of seafood products to various countries. Turkish seafood, both fresh and processed, is well regarded in international markets. Overall, fishing is deeply intertwined with Turkey's cultural and economic heritage, providing livelihoods for many communities and contributing to the country's rich culinary traditions. Sustainable practices are increasingly emphasized to protect marine ecosystems and ensure the industry's longevity. Turkey's seas are rich in various fish species, contributing to a vibrant fishing industry. Here are some of the common fishes caught in Turkey's seas. 1. Anchovies, Hamsi. Anchovies are a staple in Turkish cuisine and are often caught in the Black Sea. They are used in various dishes, including Hamsi pilav, anchovy pilaf, and Hamsi tava, fried anchovies. 2. Sardines, Sardalia. Sardines are another popular fish, especially in the Aegean and Mediterranean regions. Grilled sardines are a common dish served in coastal areas. 3. Mackerel, Uskumru. Mackerel is abundant in the Mediterranean and Aegean seas. Grilled or fried mackerel is a favorite dish among locals and tourists. 4. Sea bream, Cypura. Sea bream is a prized fish in Turkish cuisine. It is often grilled and served with a variety of side dishes. 5. Sea bass, Levrek. Similar to sea bream, sea bass is a high-demand fish, popular for its delicate flavor. It is commonly grilled or oven-baked. 6. Red mullet, Barbunya. Red mullet is a flavorful fish found in the Mediterranean. It is often fried or grilled and served with a side of salad. 7. Turbot, Kalkan. Turbot is a flatfish found in both the Mediterranean and Aegean seas. It is known for its firm texture and is often grilled or pan-fried. 8. Benito, Palamut. Benito is a migratory fish and is particularly abundant in the Black Sea. It is often grilled or used in dishes like Palamut Territor. 9. Swordfish, KLS Balk. Swordfish is a large pelagic fish found in the Mediterranean. It is known for its meaty texture and is typically grilled or used in kebabs. 10. Bluefish, Lufer. Bluefish is a predatory fish found in the Aegean and Mediterranean. It is known for its rich flavor and is often grilled or used in stews. These are just a few examples, and the variety of fish available in Turkish seas contributes to the country's diverse and flavorful seafood cuisine. The fishing industry plays a crucial role in providing fresh and high-quality fish to both local markets and international consumers. Freshwater fishing in Turkey is popular and diverse, offering anglers the opportunity to catch a variety of freshwater fish species in rivers, lakes, and reservoirs. Here are some notable freshwater fish commonly targeted by anglers in Turkey. 1. Trout, Alabalk. Trout fishing is particularly popular in rivers and streams of mountainous regions. Brown trout and rainbow trout are commonly found in Turkey's freshwater bodies. 2. Carp, Sazan. Carp is one of the most widespread freshwater fish in Turkey. Anglers target carp in lakes, reservoirs, and slow-flowing rivers. 3. Pike, Turna. Pike fishing is common in freshwater lakes and reservoirs. The Agurter Lake is known for its pike population, attracting anglers seeking this predatory species. 4. Perch, Turna. Perch is another predatory fish sought after by freshwater anglers. Lakes and rivers with clear waters are suitable habitats for perch. 5. Catfish, Sumru, catfish, particularly the European catfish, Silurus glanus, is present in some Turkish rivers. They are known for their large size and are a challenging catch. 6. Crucian carp, Karabok, Crucian carp is a smaller carp species often found in ponds, lakes, and slow-moving waters. 7. Amur, Sar Amur, Amur, a species of freshwater fish, is found in various water bodies in Turkey. They are known for their golden color and are a popular target for anglers. 8. Barbel, Kyraklu, barbel species, including the Anatolian barbel, are commonly found in Turkish rivers. They are known for their strength and are sought after by anglers using various techniques. 9. Rudd, Alakabok, Rudd is a smaller freshwater fish found in lakes and slow flowing rivers. They are often targeted by anglers using light tackle. 10. 
Xander, Turna, Xander, or European walleye, is present in some Turkish waters. They are known for their nocturnal feeding habits and are a challenging catch. Anglers in Turkey enjoy the diverse freshwater fishing opportunities provided by the country's numerous rivers, lakes, and reservoirs. Each region has its own unique fishing experiences, attracting both local and international fishing enthusiasts. Fishing is indeed common in various lakes and dam lakes in Turkey, including Ulyabat, SLDR, Iznik, and others like Kaban, Karakaya, and Sehan. Each of these water bodies has its unique characteristics and may support different fish species. 1. Ulyabat Lake, located in the Bursa province, Ulyabat Lake is known for its diverse aquatic ecosystem and is a popular destination for fishing. 2. SLDR Lake, this lake is situated in the Ardahan province and is the second largest lake in eastern Anatolia. It is famous for its trout and other fish species. 3. Iznik Lake, Iznik Lake, located in the province of Bursa, is another significant freshwater lake where fishing activities take place. 4. Kaban Dam Lake, Kaban Dam, on the Euphrates River, forms Kaban Dam Lake. It is one of the largest reservoirs in Turkey and supports various fish species. 5. Karakaya Dam Lake, located on the Euphrates River, the Karakaya Dam creates a reservoir known as Karakaya Dam Lake. It is another important water body for fishing. 6. Sehan Dam Lake, Sehan Dam, on the Sehan River, forms Sehan Dam Lake. It is located in the Adana province and is known for its fishing opportunities. Fishing enthusiasts visit these lakes and dam lakes for recreational and commercial purposes. The types of fish available can vary, and some common species include trout, carp, pike, perch, and others. Regulations and seasons for fishing are usually in place to ensure sustainable practices and the conservation of fish populations. If you plan to engage in fishing activities, it's advisable to check local regulations and guidelines to contribute to the preservation of aquatic ecosystems. Aquaculture is a significant contributor to the production of various fish species in Turkey. Here is more detailed information about the cultivation of trout in rivers and ponds and the production of sea bream and grey mullet in fisheries along the Mediterranean and Aegean coasts. 1. Trout Aquaculture Locations Trout aquaculture is prevalent in rivers and ponds throughout Turkey, where suitable conditions are created for controlled breeding and growth. Methods Specialized fish farms or hatcheries are established to rear trout in a controlled environment, ensuring optimal conditions for their development. Significance Trout farming serves as a sustainable method to meet the high demand for this freshwater fish, reducing dependence on wild populations. 2. Sea bream and gray mullet fisheries. Locations Fisheries for sea bream and gray mullet are strategically located along the Mediterranean and Aegean coasts of Turkey, taking advantage of the favorable conditions in these regions. Methods Coastal fisheries involve the breeding, cultivation, and harvest of sea bream and gray mullet. These fisheries are designed to mimic natural conditions to ensure the well being of the fish. Significance Sea bream and gray mullet are economically valuable species, and fisheries contribute significantly to their production for both domestic consumption and export. 3. Aquaculture's Economic Impact Employment, aquaculture, encompassing trout farming and coastal fisheries, generates employment opportunities in rural and coastal areas, contributing to the livelihoods of local communities. Economic Contribution, the aquaculture sector makes a substantial contribution to Turkey's economy by providing a consistent supply of fish for markets and supporting related industries. 4. Sustainability Measures Regulations Turkey has implemented regulations and standards to promote sustainable aquaculture practices, ensuring responsible environmental stewardship and the long-term viability of fish stocks. Research and Development Ongoing research and innovation in aquaculture aim to enhance efficiency, minimize environmental impact, and address challenges to the industry. In summary, trout aquaculture and the production of sea bream and grey mullet in coastal fisheries are integral to Turkey's fisheries sector. These practices contribute to food security, economic development, and the conservation of marine resources.